Hey everybody, Anthony here from Crazy Tech Lab and we are here today at MSI's motherboard factory in Shenzhen in China. It's an absolutely incredible place, massive as you can see behind me and uh, we're going to be checking out the whole production line of a Z890 motherboard which has been made for Intel's Arrow Lake CPUs and we're going to be seeing the whole production line here from where they make the PCBs, they bolt the components on, they solder them and then everything gets boxed up at the end. Everything along here, the components, every component that you see on a motherboard is right right here next to me from power connectors to resistors, capacitors, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to be seeing just how everything is bolted on, checked and then boxed right at the end there, ready for you guys to buy when you're buying your Z890 motherboard. So let's go and check it out. So we've just had a whole load of PCBs go down into this machine here. And uh, this is where you can see the PCBs are basically assembled, ready for all the components to be bolted on. We've just had a whole load come through down on uh, this conveyor belt here. And then we have the uh, automatic optical inspection, which is checking all of the components. So this is the solder paste inspection station. It's solder quality and the structural integrity of the joint is super, super important with motherboards. There's a whole entire lab downstairs that checks for the quality of the solder and the chemical co composition, just in case things do turn bad and you start to get bad solder joints. They have electron microscopes, 3D X-ray scanners, and all those kind of things. But here, this is the first process of the solder checking, which is done optically on a few of the stations here. So as we can see here, this is an MAG 8 Z890 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. This is literally the production line. Now this stand is probably the most interesting part because this is where all of the individual components of the motherboard are actually bolted on. You can see individual little nodules here that are actually the individual components that go onto the motherboard. So we have a whole raft of things. The uh, eight pin CPU connectors are literally just to the next side of me. We'll have a look at those in a second. You see each of these rollers comes from a uh, large warehouse downstairs. They are all packed away, ready to be shipped up here when they are needed and bolted onto the motherboard. So everything is scanned, it's all automated. It's an incredible production line. And uh, all of these components right now are being bolted onto the motherboard. So you can see some chips down there. Can't quite see what they are. We've actually got a chipset here, which is crazy. Just a whole load of the uh, chipsets going onto the Z890 motherboards going through this production line. Whole bunch of these things going through. Can't quite see what they are, but you can just see the uh, hundreds of components that go into your motherboard just come off these reels here. It's all automatic. As I say, they are all just down downstairs right now. So here we have some uh, USB connectors. Uh, M.2 connectors here. So this is uh, the M.2 connector for your SSD and uh, comes just comes off a reel like this. So taken out of the solder, uh, out of the box, soldered to the motherboard, all automatic. That's the uh, M.2 socket cap. And then uh, this is just a bare socket here. And uh, that looks like a uh, USB type C header as well. And then I believe this lady here is uh, dealing with the uh, BRMs on the motherboard. So they have uh, like an alignment tool from the list of things, then goes into the uh, solder reflow pro process a bit further down. And there goes another motherboard into the machine.
So this is the uh, solder reflow station, just making sure all those solder joints are properly flowed through and connecting properly. So the other end of the scale, this thing, just taking all those uh, support brackets off. And then the motherboard continues down the road. So it's still a pretty naked motherboard. We've not got any heat sinks or anything else on here yet. There's lots of other components going through. So here are lots of headers on the uh, conveyor belt here. So looks like your front panel connectors, USB headers, and all those kind of things. Even more components down there. Kind of like a helter skelter spinning around. Those of capacitors going on here. So gonna be a whole load more things bolted to the motherboard when we get them out the other end. And you can see one going through right there. So that's all the capacitors being bolted to that motherboard and soldered on. And then here we have 8-pin CPU connectors. So these are just coming off straight off this reel here. Literally thousands of them already in waiting to be connected to the motherboard and soldered on. So here we have the next station. Looks like they're aligning a lot of the uh, other components on the motherboard. We've now got some power sockets on there as well as some more PCI Express slots and uh, SATA ports and the 24 pin ATX connector. So looking a lot more like a motherboard now. So this is the wave solder machine. The next step in the process is the automatic plate brushing machine, which is where the underside of the PCB is cleaned, brushed to remove any excess solder and flux. So here we have the brand new LGA 1851 sockets. So these are for Arrow Lake. And uh, again, thousands of these, these things here getting ready to be assembled onto the motherboards over on this plate here. So a lot of this is uh, still done um, semi-automatically. They are brought into this machine here and uh, screwed down. So this machine here is coming just before they put the socket on and uh, it is the IC circuit tester. So in here is where they actually test that all the circuits on the motherboard are actually working. And uh, hopefully we can get a, a little bit of a view here through the uh, through the cage. So if you've ever wondered who put the heat sinks on your motherboard, it is these guys here. So for the moment, all this is done manually. 
the motherboard is placed face down and uh, then we have these guys securing the heat sinks to the motherboard in a manual process so it's uh, very much a bit of teamwork. Motherboard goes face down and then we have all the heat sinks, in this case for the uh, Tomahawk going on and as you can see here there's like a template that they use just makes it a lot easier when uh, securing those screws so you're not wobbling around all over the place and uh, that template obviously specific to this specific motherboard with such a huge number of components on each motherboard it's inevitable that a very very small number will end up with slightly faulty components and these are identified early on and put to one side to see if they can be saved before returning to the production line followed by extensive testing as we can see here, testing all of the ports and all of the other features on the motherboard. So the eagle-eyed out there might have noticed that the integrated I.O. shield has not yet been installed and that is the task of this guy here. And uh, as you can see it's a pretty intricate process but we've just got a few screws holding it on the uh, tomahawk that we've got here. Nice shiny integrated I.O. shield. So with the integrated I.O. shield installed, the motherboard has been tested, it's been reflowed with solder, all the components are installed, and we then have the boxing phase which is going on here. So there's a whole stack of MAG Z890 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboards coming off the production line here, all being boxed up with all their accessories. So when you open your motherboard and you get all the uh, accessories looking up at you, this is literally where it happens. And then down the back there, we have all of the motherboards ready and waiting to go. That's it for the MSI Motherboard Factory Tour and I'd like to thank MSI for inviting me out here to look at all of its brand new Z890 motherboards and how they are being made on the production line right here next to me. Thanks to you guys for watching, thanks to MSI again and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications as well so you're notified of new videos. I'm going to get out of these really hot clothes because it's boiling in here and I'll be back very soon. See ya.